Hi, I'm Megan and welcome to my kitchen. Today I have a grocery haul for you. I went to Aldi and I spent $93.21. I mostly got fresh produce and some meat. So I'll show you what I got from Aldi and then I will show you our haul from Sam's Club. My husband and I went to Sam's last night and got stocked up on a few items. So I'll show you what we got there and then I'll share with you our menu plan for the upcoming week. Today's video is in collaboration with Courtney over at the Bryles Bunch. I will have her channel linked in my description box below. So as soon as you're done watching my video, make sure that you head on over to her channel, show her some love, and let her know that I sent you. I know that you'll love her channel. She is a wife and a mama to two super adorable little boys. She's very sweet. She has a very bubbly personality, and I sincerely like watching her videos. I know you will as well. She does grocery hauls, what's for dinner videos, and things like that. She also has a Pampered Chef channel. Uh, she started selling Pampered Chef, I believe, a few months ago. Um, so I think she has that linked in her description boxes as well. So make sure you check that out. And uh, if you're coming to my channel from Courtney's, welcome. Like I said, my name's Megan, and I'm glad that you have stopped by my channel. Let's get started with the Aldi haul. Like I said, I spent right at $93. I got mostly fresh produce and some meat. So let me show you what I got. First, I got a bag of spinach. I got some fresh strawberries, mushrooms, I got some cherub tomatoes, got some of these singles roast, roasted red pepper hummus for snacking. I like to dip baby carrots in that. I got some basmati rice. I didn't necessarily need this for this week, but this was, um, I saw it and I knew that I was out of it, so I went ahead and grabbed it when I was at Aldi because it's a really great price there. Got some green onions zucchini i wanted just just arugula but they didn't have any so i just got the spinach and baby arugula i got some grapes some of these little mini peppers some baby carrots and then this is also something i didn't need this this week but i am going to be making a um steak pad thai it is a i believe it's a home chef recipe we had it a long time ago and i knew that i would need um rice noodles so again, these were at Aldi this week, so I just grabbed those. Got a package of Italian dressing mix just to keep in the pantry. Got a fresh pineapple. I saw this dressing, I hadn't seen it before. So I grabbed this, it's the Asian sesame salad dressing. I got two cans of green beans, and then I got a can of refried beans. I got a bag of steamed broccoli. I've mentioned this before, but I really like getting the broccoli florets from Aldi. Now that might sound a little bit weird, but their um, frozen broccoli florets, they're a really good size. A lot of times when I get frozen broccoli, they're like huge pieces and these are, are nice size. So I like getting that there. And then these were kind of in their special section, their curly fries and then the hash brown sticks. I saw this on Tiffany's um, last grocery haul. She went to Aldi and found these. So luckily they still had them. So I picked those up. I got some mozzarella cheese for a pasta salad I'm making. Got some cheddar cheese, mozzarella cheese, and then I've mentioned this many times before. I love, love, love their honey goat cheese. So I got that. Um, every once in a while, I'll make these little, I don't know what to call them. I guess maybe crostinis, but I'll take like slices of bread, toast them, and then I will spread them with some of this honey goat cheese and then add like some fig jam and then some slices of prosciutto. And it may sound a little bit odd. Oh, and drizzle it with some balsamic um, glaze, like from Trader Joe's. Might sound a little bit weird. It is flipping delicious. It's amazing. And both my husband and I have been craving it. So that's what I got the honey goat cheese for and the prosciutto. The recipe for that um, does call for arugula. I've never added that before, but that's why I wanted to get um, the arugula this week, but I'll just pick the arugula out of that. But anyway, that's delicious. So I can't wait to have that. I've also mentioned this before on my channel. We really like the center cut bacon from Aldi. So I went ahead and grabbed a couple packages for the freezer, got some milk, heavy whipping cream, shrimp. And then I got, I know this might sound weird that I, or look weird that I got two things of chicken. I got these chicken breasts, but as you can see, these are huge. I also got this package. They didn't have any uh, just smaller packages of chicken breasts other than this organic. So I went ahead and grabbed this. Um, I am making a like stuffed chicken breast. And so these are just way too big to stuff. And if I cut them in half and I just was worried that the filling would come out or it wouldn't be big enough. So I just went ahead and grabbed these smaller chicken breasts. That way I can slice a pocket in them and then stuff them. 
I got two bags of Parmesan cheese for a couple recipes and then some butter. All right, that's all that I got from Aldi. I'll show you Sam's Club and then I'll show you our meal plan. Here is what I got at Sam's Club. I spent $219. Let me show you what I got. So first I got some of their toilet paper. Now I've never tried the toilet paper from Sam's Club before, but I've heard really great things about it. So I went ahead and grabbed some. I also grabbed my mom a package. Um, it's not shown here because I didn't see the need in bringing it from the car in here just to take it back out to the car because I got to take it to her house. So got us a package of the toilet paper and then them a package of the toilet paper. And then I got a package of paper plates. I also grabbed one for my mom. That's also in the car. Went ahead and grabbed this, you know, just to have on hand for Thanksgiving coming up and Christmas and all the different get togethers. Same with the paper bowls. Went ahead and got stocked up on that. And then the plastic forks, spoons, and knives. So we'll be stocked up for the holidays on that. And then I grabbed this Dawn Power Wash. Haven't tried this before, but I've heard really great things about it. I was going to get just one bottle at Walmart to try, but just one bottle I think was like five bucks. And you get this spray and then three refills for like $9.98. So I just went ahead and grabbed that while we were there. I'm excited to give that a try. And then I got a package of these dusters. This is basically just canned air. I like to use this, of course, to clean like our keyboards, but then also to clean like the exhaust fans in the bathroom, uh, the bowls of my ceiling fans. If I get like crumbs in a drawer, that's a really easy way to get that out. My husband saw these. We usually get the, um, the Zeiss wipes, but not these mobile screen ones. We hadn't seen the mobile screen ones before. We normally use the wipes to clean uh, my husband's glasses, but he saw these and wanted to try these, so we got that. And then he was really excited for this. I really <laughs> don't necessarily know what this is. He said it's some kind of like wireless charging station. So he was excited because he can do his AirPods, Apple Watch, and smartphone. So he's excited to try that. And then I got some of these little cups of avocado. This isn't guacamole, just avocado. I've heard that you can freeze these, which I haven't tried before, but I'll freeze some of those and see how they turn out. Got some chicken breasts. This was a good deal. It was $1.82 a pound for 5.27 pounds. So I got that and I'll uh, divvy those up and get those in the freezer. And then I've mentioned this before, but I love their pulled pork. Makes a great, easy dinner. You just pop this in the oven. It is delicious, highly recommend. This was on sale. Um, I think it's regularly like 10 bucks. Is on sale for seven something. So you get two ketchups, a relish, and a mustard. And then I love to get this at Sam's Club because I make homemade ranch dressing a lot. So I grabbed that. And then finally, I got some of this tomato basil classico. This was on sale as well. It's normally, I think, seven something for all three of these. And it was on sale for four dollars and I believe like 50 cents, which is a great deal for three jars. All right, that is everything that we got at Sam's Club. Here's our meal plan for the upcoming week. So on Thursday night, I'm going to be making barbecue hot dogs and a barbecue pasta salad. This is a carryover from last week. On Friday, I'm trying a new recipe. I've had this pinned for a while. The recipe is called Manly Man Sandwiches. I'm not really sure why. It's just kind of roast beef, um and chipotle mayonnaise and I think like Swiss cheese. I'm, I can't even remember what all's on it, but it's a new recipe, so we're going to be making that. Saturday, I'm making a recipe called Heavenly Chicken. Now, when we were in Fort Worth, we went to this um, like Greek restaurant several times. It was freaking delicious. <laughs> it was so good. I say Greek, they had mostly Greek, but they also had more Mediterranean type foods. And their heavenly chicken is one of their like house specialties. It's basically cream cheese stuffed chicken. And then that is seared. And then it's served with a homemade Alfredo sauce with spinach and mushrooms and bacon. And it's delicious. Now, Fort Worth is a little far away from Nashville. So um, I've tried to recreate this the best that I can. So I'm going to be making that for dinner that night. Sunday, I'm doing grilled chicken and then I'll make a pesto pasta salad. Last week, I made a chicken pesto casserole. So I've got some of the pesto leftover. So I want to get that used up. 
Monday, I'm making a chicken teriyaki bowl, if I could talk, with like grilled pineapple and uh, zucchini. So hopefully that will be delicious. Tuesday, I'm making chicken tetrazzini and probably a salad. And then Wednesday, I'm making beef and bean enchiladas. This is a really easy recipe. I haven't made it for several years, um, but I came across it as I was looking through my Pinterest boards the other day. So I'll give that a try. Well, not give it a try. I've made it. It's just been a long time, but it's really good. So I'll probably do like rice and beans with that. All right, that is our menu plan. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please hit the thumbs up button below. I hope you have a great rest of the day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.